Why is my website not showing up on Google? This can be a really frustrating problem, but in this video, I'm gonna share with you steps that you can take to figure out if you actually have a problem that you can address, if you're gonna need a professional to diagnose and fix your problem, or if it's just really a matter of time. What? My name is Frank, I'm the founder of SagaPixel. We are an SEO agency that gets websites found online through Google. So the whole question of why your website's not showing up there is something that we deal with literally on a daily basis. Before we really get into this, however, I want you to be able to figure out whether you indeed are not on Google or if it's just that you're not ranking for the keywords that you want to rank for. So you're gonna go over to Google, you're going to type in site colon, just like I have here, and then your domain all together and hit enter. If you get results, this means that you are on Google. Your website is indexed. Now, if I were to take the same domain and add a whole bunch of nonsensical letters, that's what's gonna look like because there is no sagapixel.com. So my recommendation is pause this video, go over to Google, do a site colon search. And if your website is not showing up at all, this video is gonna give you some steps that you can take to try to get your website to show up for something. If it is showing up, you don't have a problem that your website's not showing up on Google. Your problem is that you're not ranking for the keywords that you need to rank for. There's no eight minute video that's going to show you how to address that. This is something that you're going to need to probably work with an SEO specialist on. Or if it's just a brand new website that you put up, you just need to give it some time. Google has to crawl and index trillions of pages across the entire internet. And it very well may be that they just haven't found your website yet. Again, if it's a brand new website. So assuming that your website's been up for a while and that you're seeing that page where you're getting zero results for a site colon search for your domain, these are the next steps you need to take. We're going to go to Google Search Console. This is a free tool Google provides us to give us an idea of how uh, people are finding our website and reporting on any sort of technical issues that the website may have. We do have content on our YouTube channel and our blog that goes through how to set up a Google Search Console account. But if you spend a little bit of time on YouTube, there are a million tutorials on this. You probably don't need one from us. Once you do have it set up, you're going to probably need to give it a few weeks for it to collect data, and then there are a few steps that you can take. You're gonna go over to the pages report, and here it's gonna tell you pages that Google has found on your website that it has chosen to not index for whatever reason, and then it's going to show you the pages that it has indexed. So I'm gonna uncheck that, and then we're gonna scroll down the page and we're going to see the different reasons why some of these pages have not been indexed. Now, there's a good chance that you're going to see some of these in your Google Search Console. There's a good chance that you're going to see some issues on your Search Console that are not appearing here. The important thing is to just take a look at what Search Console is telling you about your indexing issues, seeing whether it's a problem, and then addressing. In our case, when I scroll down, we have some of our pages have been redirected. Some of them have been excluded by the no index tag. Some of them were crawled, but Google decided not to put them in the index. Some of them Google knows or nine pages that Google knows are there, but they just haven't gotten around to crawling them yet. Uh, there was one page that Google thought that there was a duplicate of another and it chose not to do that. But whatever the issue is, we're going to click on whatever the error message is that we want to look into. And then we're going to scroll down. It's going to tell us where we found these issues. So I'm seeing like our privacy policy page. We have a, an article about editing with Elementor that I purposely know indexed because we're not really targeting any keywords with it. There's an, the same thing that goes for a video about location pages. This page doesn't exist anymore. There's HVAC marketing. We don't even specialize in that industry any longer. So in my case, I'm not seeing anything in here that really concerns me. But as you go through yours, you very well may find that you have legitimate issues with indexation. I will forewarn you that if you do indeed have problems with indexing your website, there very well may be some very significant technical issues with your website, and you're probably going to need a uh, technical SEO specialist to be able to diagnose and address the problems that you're having. For example, if you have some sort of single page application, this is common with fully pure JavaScript websites, ones that are using React, for example, odds are you're not even going to be able to get a lot of those pages indexed in the first place. In other cases, you may have an issue that's so simple as someone checked off in WordPress the 
discourage search engines from indexing this website, in which case you're going to see lots of website or lots of pages on your website with this excluded by no index tag. Just a quick confession, I actually did this with our website when it first, when it relaunched last summer. It was like that for about six hours and then we realized that a mistake that we had made. Your developer very often will set, will check that off when they're developing your website or when they've put it up for you to review and if they forget to uncheck it and they launch it like that, it can be an issue. And this happens more frequently than you would think. So once you've checked your indexing and everything looks like it's okay, but you're still not showing up on Google for anything, there is the possibility that your website has suffered a, a manual penalty. You'll also find in Search Console over here, if you scroll down into the Security and Manual Actions section, click on Manual Actions. In our case, we haven't had any manual actions, but if you have, you're going to find a message in here telling you what happened, why you've been penalized, and what you need to do in order to submit for a reconsideration. So wrapping up the video, if you right now feel that your website's not showing up on Google, it's most likely going to be one of the following reasons. First, your website's too new and Google simply hasn't found it yet. And if it hasn't found it, it has no way to index it. And if you're not indexed, you can't show up on Google. Number two, your website very well may not be trustworthy enough or relevant enough to the searches that you are performing. Frankly, you'd need to work with an SEO to help to get your content quality up so that you can compete for the keywords that you are entering into the search engine. Three, you have some sort of technical issue that's preventing Google from crawling and indexing the website. It very well may be that you have a single page application website. It could be that you blocked Google from crawling the website in the first place in your robots.txt, or you checked the box that I was talking about earlier in the video in WordPress that's telling them to not index your website. Next, you may have suffered a penalty. Ultimately, if you take all these steps and you still can't figure out what's going on, unfortunately, you're probably gonna have to find a consultant. If you'd like to schedule time with me or someone from my team, you can find a link in the description on YouTube or click on the contact if you're on our website. One.